Yo my dudes, what's going on? David here and E3 2015 has revealed some mouthwatering games that have me pumped. So pumped, I decided it's time to reveal my top 10 games of E3. Number 10, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Call of Duty is on my list for one reason and one reason only, co-op campaign. The fact that I can play this game co-op and it's a first person shooter, come on guys, this has to be on your list. Finally a campaign that's co-op, thank you Call of Duty. Number 9, Halo 5 Guardians. If you own an Xbox, you should be ashamed of yourself if this isn't on your list. Halo's been a franchise that I've enjoyed since the original Xbox. I'm excited to see where this campaign takes us, with a team set out to hunt Master Chief. It's going to be cool to play as the Hunted and the Hunter. Number 8, Rainbow Six Siege. Now I haven't really ever been too excited about Rainbow Six franchise, but the idea of adding online modes such as the rescue mode on Battlefield Hardline has me intrigued. The strategy required in Rainbow Six makes every teammate pivotal. The suspense that every match can have has me very excited. Number 7, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is an action adventure game that has a lot of similar traits to Uncharted. With amazing gameplay and outstanding visuals, looks to me like Xbox has finally found their action adventure game that they longed for. Number 6, For Honor. Now I don't have much to say about this game from what little I saw. I've always thought it would be a cool idea to have sword to sword combat in an online multiplayer. The fact that I get to play with my brothers and friends in a 4v4 online makes me want to go in the backyard and begin LARPing. Number 5, Gears 4. Gears of War has long been a franchise that me and my brother shared numerous hours playing. A very story driven game with a world that I really enjoy. This is one of the best co-op shooting experiences I've ever had. With what they revealed at E3, I'm very interested in what these two characters can bring to the franchise. Number 4, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Me being such a late bloomer to the Uncharted franchise, I didn't hop aboard the train until Uncharted 3 was released. With jaw dropping visuals, Uncharted 3 definitely hits my top 10 of all time video games. So it's no surprise that Uncharted 4 is so high on my list. With an amazing demo showed at E3, seems to me like 2016 can't come any faster. Number 3, Horizon Zero Dawn. I gotta say, when Guerrilla Games revealed this new IP, my jaw dropped. You cannot tell me that these graphics don't have you excited. Mix in a hunter survival game set in a futuristic world with what looks like a unique combat system. I'm really excited for what this game could be. Number 2, Ghost Recon Wildlands. As you can see from my list, co-op shooters are my bread and butter. So there should be no shock that Ghost Recon Wildlands has got me jizzing in my pants. With different ways to approach each mission, I'm very curious to see how me and my brothers approach every mission. With that being said, it seems to me that each mission can be played more than once. The fact that it's set in an open world environment, Ghost Recon, I'm sold. With so many great games to choose from, here are the games that didn't quite make the list. Number one, The Division. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the game that has my hands really sweaty. Hey now, get your mind out of the gutter. You know what I mean. The Division reminds me of that Last of Us co-op game I've always wanted. With RPG elements and survival being top priority, you may want to choose your team wisely. With the option to team up with other people around the world and at the same time screw them over, The Division might knock every game off my top 10 list. And there you have it folks, my top 10 games shown at E3. Once again, this is my list, so if you have any opinions that you wanna share with me, go ahead and comment in the section below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.